name is Alex and I'm a marketing engineer from Fisher. In this video, we will be demonstrating the setup and calibration of the 3582i on a Fisher 667 size 30 actuator. The 3582i is an electric pneumatic valve positioner which takes a 4 to 20 input signal and positions the valve accordingly. It is also available as the 3582, which is a pneumatic positioner and accepts a pneumatic input signal. In this demonstration, we are using the 3582i with a Fisher 667 actuator, a reverse acting actuator, and also with a push down to close valve. This means that as the signal increases from 4 to 20 mA, the air to the actuator will increase and open the valve. Before starting, let us ensure that we have the right tools here. We have a 3 by 8 inch wrench, a half inch wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, and a 4 to 20 mA signal generator. With this, we are ready to begin. With the pro positional properly mounted, we can first open the cover and remove the sponge, shipping sponge. From here, we need to check that the cam is correctly mounted in our... In our case, the arrow on the cam should be pointed up. This means that when you put air into the actuator, the stem moves up, which is correct in our setup. For details on how to change the cam arrangement, Please refer to the instruction manual. Before starting the calibration, we should ensure that the feedback arm on the 3582i is mounted correctly. This can be done by moving the valve to its mid-travel, either via a hand wheel or by introducing air into the actuator directly. At mid-travel, the feedback arm should be perpendicular to the 3582i. The travel pin should be positioned based on the valve maximum travel. In this case, it is 3 quarter inches and we position it at 1, 1 by 8 or less. From here, we will fully stroke the valve from close to open, ensuring that the arm does not rotate out of the range inscribed on the arm. The next check is for the pneumatic and electrical connections. The air supply is connected to the regulator which supplies air to the 3582i. The Output of the 3582i is connected to the actuator. The electrical connections are connected to the 582i module to the power source generator. To start calibration, we first apply an input signal equal to the low value of the input signal range. In this case, 4 mA. We first loosen the lock, no, nozzle lock nut and adjust the nozzle for zero valve position. Changing the nozzle position is intended only as a means of zero trim adjustment. Whenever nozzle position is changed, the zero reference point is changed. After the zero trim adjustment, we apply an input signal equal to the high value of the input signal range. In this case, 20 mA and observe the actuator step. The actuator stem should be at the expected travel. If the stem travel is short of its expected range, increase the travel by moving the flapper assembly to a higher number on the beam, and vice versa to decrease the travel. Each time the flapper assembly position is changed, check the low input signal to ensure, to ensure that the valve position is at the zero position. Keep repeating the zero and span adjustment until the correct travel is achieved. Lastly, we carry out a 5-point linearity check starting at 4 mA to 8 mA to 12 mA to 16 and finally to 20 mA. The valve should move from 0% to 25%, 50%, 75% and finally fully open respectively. With that, we are done with the calibration. Thank you.